guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 4 of Windbreakers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, kid got his ass <laughs> No, I think he's talking about something else. <laughs> yeah, that, that's him. That's what he's trying to tell you. <laughs> he's so silly. <laughs> right? Look at the way that the leaves are shaped. He is, but he's a lovable goof. Well, you did good by going after him. Wow. <laughs> It's surely <laughs> You should just go Joe like mentoring mug of me. <laughs> Shut up, DJ. <laughs> Dude. 
but you like it though. Is it me or he kind of sounds like Tanjiro? She's here! I mean, did you see that arm? the the freaking like scale it up <sighs> um. Cool. Nah, he blocked up.
shit. Now here comes everybody else. Oh my god. <laughs> Wouldn't that still be a brawl though, even though it's one on one? Like, no one else needs to fight right now. <sighs> Just boys being boys. Fuck it. Who oh. oh, he boys by? I know that voice. <laughs> What if that's fucking, um, if that is him, then once again, we're, we're doing what I think we're doing with this show now, by having these two saves up in this show. God, let, let me be right, and then let me be wrong at the same time. <laughs> Looks really good. I don't think that'll happen, though.
So then you still wait. Figures. I mean, we kind of knew that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so he just treats you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's a big no no. <laughs> so, yeah, don't say anything to him about that, right? completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did the kitty bitty. <laughs>
this could go anyway next week. I mean, of course, as he said, it's going to be more of a talk than a fight, but l let me just say this. It, it seems like the Lions like to play dirty and such. I mean, especially, look at the leader. Come on now. If playing dirty was a character, a character, come on. is it like okay literally oh man like he he goes from this like oh i'm so sweet and lovable and when it is time to do his ish like just the aura you felt that one for like hey yo what's about to happen like oh oh my god mm -hmm. it's so good it, it's uh, it's a little underrated though but it's a, a good underrated no, but, like, seriously, I I mean, I would have expected him and Kota, like, kind of to date, but, <laughs> I, I just, at the same time, I was like, no, but she has, like, so much chemistry with Sakura, and it makes the most sense for them to get together, but, uh, Ume is Ume. That's all I'm gonna say. And if, if the guy who was on the lion side is voice who I think He's voiced by, once again, we're about to go into, what, my third show with Sato. <laughs> with the idiots! <laughs> oh, God. Bruh, no, but if that is him. Like I said, this would be the third, yeah, the third show that these two are, well, I mean, because they're, okay, see, because with their seiyus, they kind of give me the feels towards Levi and Erwin seiyus when they were both in Attack on Titan and, like, so many other things together as well, and so everybody's like, yeah, I like this, it's good, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, because now officially looking at this cast, because I kind of looked at it between last night and this morning, um, and then plus I got a, like, freaking, <laughs> not really a long comment, but a comment of, like, who all is in this and such, and I was like, oh. I was like, with some of them, it's very obvious by their voice, like, okay, the guy with the long blue hair, duh, that was freaking obvious. But Sakura, I think because of the fact is, I'm so used to him doing his Megamine voice that this voice, it does give me feels to when he was in season one and season two with Given. Well, Given's only had one season. Um, but really more of his character from Given. I can't really hear any, like, I don't hear Kyo. Well, no, I'll take that back. Like, you kind of hear Kyo at times. So I'll, I'll say it's a mixture of both. But no, you definitely don't hear Megamine. And when you're so used to a Megamine voice and you're coming into this, you're, you're just like, I don't think that's him. <laughs> but no, that is him. But I think the biggest one, as of right now, like, character-wise, who has surprised me is probably Kota has say you because I didn't think that it was homegirl from 86 slash, you know, best girl from Butch of the Rock. But once again, with say the power of Seiyus and the way they do their freaking voice, it's not like when it's, um, should I say that? You know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm going to keep that little comment to myself because I don't want to get any backlash. So, yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say about that. But, <laughs> no, it was a good episode, even with everything that's about to transpire next week. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.